The ShaderGraph team is excited to announce the release of our latest set of sample content, the Yugui Shaders Sample. This is a collection of over 50 subgraphs that are building blocks to help you build user interface elements. The sample also contains dozens of example buttons, backgrounds, indicators, and progress bars, all built using the subgraph library. With this sample set, we aim to help you speed up the process of creating your project's user interface with ShaderGraph. Using UGUI and ShaderGraph, you can create user interface elements that are resolution independent, require zero texture memory, can be authored and edited directly in ShaderGraph inside of Unity, automatically adapt to aspect ratio and contain all visual states and behaviors. That's a lot, so let's unpack it. These UI elements are resolution independent. Because they're generated procedurally, you can add them to any screen, whether it's a tiny smartphone or a 100-inch 8K TV. Regardless of the resolution or camera distance, the UI elements will always look crisp and clear. The visuals for these UI elements are created using math, so they don't rely on textures at all. That means they require zero texture memory. If you're frustrated by the back and forth workflow of editing your UI images outside of Unity, chopping them up into textures and importing them, and then going back to make adjustments, you'll be glad to hear that these UI elements are created entirely in ShaderGraph. So there's no import-export loop. Adjustments require simply changing shader parameters or rewiring a few nodes. By passing the width and height values of the assigned UI element into the shader, the shader can automatically adapt the visuals to fit that ratio. No more making different button shapes to fit different size buttons or fiddling with nine slicing. One shader can contain all of the information needed for a hover state, an active-inactive state, a press-down state, etc. So you don't need to manage multiple image assets for each button or widget. These are some incredible benefits and advantages for your UI, and this sample set shows you how to implement all of them. After importing the sample, you can find the sample content under Samples, Shader Graph, your version number, and UGUI shaders. Let's first take a look at the sample scene. So open the UI sample scene file in the Scenes folder. We'll enter Play Mode to activate the UI. Now we can click on the tabs on the left to explore the different pages. On the background page, you can adjust the sliders to change the parameters of the UI background, to adjust the saturation, color tint, and the amount of blur to apply. The Rec Transform Size page is a demonstration of how the UI shaders can adapt to various aspect ratios. The Meters page has a set of widgets that can display information to the player, like health or magic level. You can adjust the meter levels by dragging the slider. The Interactables page has a set of buttons and sliders that you can interact with by clicking and dragging. And finally, the Indicators page has two examples of animated effects that indicate loading or saving. Let's take a look at the shader that's creating this fantasy-style health meter. We start by creating the animated bubbles. Then, we create the shading on the liquid. Next, we create the waves that mask the top of the liquid. The height of the mask is controlled by the health input parameter. Finally, we add specular highlights and reflections on top and output the result. Any adjustments that need to be made can happen right here in ShaderGraph, so we never have to jump out to other software and re-import our work. The real value in this sample set comes from over 50 included subgraph nodes. You can see all of the subgraph nodes in the collection by opening this subgraph library file here. 
The subgraphs have been created to help speed up the process of creating user interface elements. They are building blocks that can be strung together quickly to achieve various appearances and functionalities. Here you can see that they are divided into categories, gradients, helpers, patterns, SDFs, time, and UV. And you can add them to your shader by opening the Add Node menu and finding them here in the UI category. Let's take a look at how easy it is to create a simple animated UI background using the subgraph nodes that come with this sample. In this scenario, our art director wants to create a game with an 80s theme and has asked us to create a prototype background. We'll start out with an empty shader graph file. In the graph settings, we'll make sure that we set the material type to canvas so that we can apply this shader to a UGUI canvas element. Next, we'll add the square tiles node to create a nice grid pattern. We want the grid pattern to scroll, so we'll add a move node. Then we'll create a linear time node and connect it to the Y component of a vector2 node. Now our grid pattern is scrolling in the Y direction, and we can control the speed with the linear time speed parameter. Now we want it to look like our grid is receding into the distance. So instead of using flat UV coordinates, we'll add our perspective node, which will perspective warp our coordinates. We need to change the skew rotation to negative 90 degrees and set the skew to 0.9. That's what we're looking for, but we also need to adjust the tiling on our grid. We'll set the Y tiling to 32. In order to make our grid work at any resolution, we're going to output the SDF or signed distance field and pass it into our anti-aliasing node. This node takes a sign distance field and converts it into a shape, in this case our grid, in a resolution independent way. So no matter how close or far we are from the pattern, it will always be sharp. Next, we need to mask off the top of our pattern. We can do that with a bars node. We'll set it to have two bars and connect the V output of a linear gradient node. Now we have a mask that's white on the bottom and black on the top, so we can just multiply this with our grid. Let's add some color next. We'll add our gradients node. This node contains a list of commonly used gradients. We'll set this one to the 80s sunset gradient and pass it into the inverse of our linear gradient node for the coordinates. Now we have a great looking sunset gradient. Let's blend between this and a color node using the grid as our blend mask. And now we've got a cool procedurally generated pattern that we can use as the background for our UI. Nice. Notice that our graph is made up almost entirely of subgraph nodes from this sample set. Having this collection of subgraphs has allowed us to create something fairly complex in just a few minutes. All of the examples in the sample are made this way. The UI Tools sample set is available in Unity 6. To import the samples, open the Package Manager and select the Shader Graph Package. Then select the Samples tab. On the Samples tab, press the Import button on the UGUI Shaders sample set. Once imported, you can find the samples under Samples, Shader Graph, Your Version Number, and UGUI Shaders. We hope you enjoy this new set of samples and that it helps you create amazing user interface elements using Shader Graph. Share your thoughts and comments with us in the Shader Graph forum.